uh, today in this session we are going to discuss about the Huffman coding but the uh, code pattern is ternary code uh, we uh, try to solve uh, two examples uh, the first example is about the ternary code so like if you see the example Huffman coding uh, and the, the ternary code so our source produces nine symbols s1 s2 up to s9 construct a ternary and quaternary Huffman code by moving symbols as high as possible also find efficiency and variance of the code the probabilities of the symbols are given below pi is equals to 0.11 comma 0.11 comma dash 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 comma 0.11 so it means that all the symbols are equiprobable the probability of uh, each symbol is 0.11 so uh, what uh, we have uh, usually done had to solve this type of example using the Huffman code the first uh, point is that you need to arrange uh, the symbol probabilities in the descending orders like here we can see that since the probability of each symbol is same so that is why we just rearrange the symbols from s1 s2 s3 s4 s5 up to s9 and then on the other side we will uh, put the probability 0 0.1 0 0.1 and then 0.1 so these are the probability that we usually use the since uh, we are discussing about the ternary code so what we try we try to combine the last three uh, symbols the probability of last three symbols so 0 1 2 and assign 0 1 and then 2 and uh, uh, the uh, answer or the combination or the combined result of these probability we should take it as high as possible so the answer is 0.33 so we take the answer as high as possible and then rearrange the remaining probability like, like this one will be here and then this one will be here this one will be there this one will be there this one will be there and then this one will be there second step again we try to combine these three probabilities and assign 0 1 and 10 2 and the result we should take the result as high as possible so the result is 0.33 we should take it as high as possible 0.33 and then Take this probability on the other side, this one on the other side, this one on the other side, this one on the other side. And then again assign a 0, 1 and then 2 and then uh, com the combined result should we should take it as high as possible 0.33. And then this one will be here and then this one will be here. And then the last we see that last three probabilities are there that 0 0.33, 0 0.33, 0 0.33 and then we assign 0, 1, 2 to each of them. The second uh, thing is that we need to construct a code. So the code word, we can write the code word on this side uh, uh, in, with respect to each symbol like S1. In order to uh, get the code word for S1, we should uh, uh, do the uh, we should follow the forward path like you see so this one here is 0.1 so if it is 0.11 so the path of this 0.11 this arrow from this arrow to this arrow from this arrow to this arrow and then from here to uh, this arrow and then from here to this arrow so this is the uh, forward propagation but when we assign the code we need to uh, uh, we need to assign backward okay so the first one is a zero so this one is zero so again so this one is a zero and then no more so that is why we assign a zero zero now s2 so far s2 here this is the path so this arrow is there and then this arrow is there and then this one and then this one so and this is the forward then backward we assign the code zero and then this one and then so that is why 0 and 1 so ne next is s3 so s3 the path is this one so we should follow this path this arrow is here so this has arrow is here and then this is 2 and then this is here and then on top and then this is at the end so 
when we assign code we move backwards so the first one is zero and then this one here is two and then zero two zero two similarly for s4 point one one and then this path so this is zero and then the zero is moving upstairs and then this is point three and this is point three three and then this one is one so moving forward and then moving backward to assign code so this is one and then uh, this is zero so that's it one zero so uh, s5 so point one one so this is the path point one one so this is one and then it is upstairs point three three and then this is downstairs and then point three three and then one backward so this this is one here so this is one again here and then the, so that is one one so in this way we try to uh, have, uh, assign the code word so s6 so this is the path so point one one point one one so this is two so upstairs point three three point three three this is so this is one and then this is two so one two s7 so this is the path so there and then there and then there so backward so this is two so this is two and then so this is so if you see this is two so so this, so this is one so s8 so s9 so this is point one one so moving forward two moving here so there and then there so two then this is here two and then this is two 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 so this is the code word that you sign so you can see that the code word for each symbol is two because we are using equi likely symbol so that is why the length of the code word so they are uh, the length of the code word is same so like two so the length of the code word or we can say that we can calculate the average code word length for this one so probability i multiplied by n i is equals to n mul 9 multiplied by 0.11 multiplied by 2 so equals to 1.98 bit per second the uh, entropy is uh, equals to probability multiplied by the information so 9 symbol equally likely so that is why 9 multiplied by 0.11 multiplied by log to 1 by 0.11 so if you calculate using your calculator the answer is this 3.1525 bit per symbol the efficiency is equals to bit uh, the efficiency is equals to entropy divided by l log 2 uh, and then gamma so uh, we know we are uh, considering tertiary code so that is why it is log 2 and then 3 so log 2 3 so the entropy is 3.1525 divided by average code word length is equals to 1.98 into log 2 3 so that the answer is 1 so it means that the efficiency is 100 percent the variance we can calculate the variance the formula for the variance is that one so pi multiplied by n i minus l whole square so we can use the values and then we can calculate the a, a variance which is equals to 0 0.000396 that's all so if we discuss uh, the same code for the ternary for the ternary Huffman code so again we will do the same thing like us uh, uh, arrange the symbols in the descending order assign the probabilities and then uh, here you can see we need to assign numbers 1 0 1 2 and then 3 because we are discussing the quaternary code so again uh, the combination of this code should be uh, should take it as high as possible and then keep moving these probabilities here and then again assign these uh, 0 1 2 3 and then take the probability as high as possible then, then again here assign 0 1 2 3 and then here you can see so this is the missing so there's a no probability uh, to the assigned to 3 so that is why we need to add another symbol with zero probability so here we will uh, add s10 and the probability of s10 will be uh, zero and then after assigning the, uh, the after adding the s10 with the zero probability we need to again do the same process 
like symbol probability and then combine the last four pair last four if we combine the last four and then take the result as high as possible and then move these probabilities as we have done in the previous example and then again has assigned here the last four and then move the probability as high as possible and then uh, moving these probabilities over there and then again you can assign 0 1 2 3 and then you assign the code word you need to again follow the same procedure here like if you assign s1 so follow this path so this path so this path so you can see just two so you can assign two s3 is this path and then this path so just three s3 so this path so zero and then up zero so zero zero so for this one s10 you can see so this path three and then one so that is why one three again so this way you can solve the quaternary problem the uh, quaternary Hoffman coding and again uh, the procedure of calculating the binary uh, entropy is still the same like that you have used uh, the previous formula like probability multiplied by the information so that is in this case the probability that multiplied by the information is 3.15 bits per symbol and the average code word length here in this case we can see that we have uh, two uh, different length code word length like two uh, symbols have one bit and the other uh, 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 seven symbols has two bit but the tenth symbol has two bit but the probability of that is zero so that is why uh, the uh, zero multiplied by anything the answer is zero so that is why we just calculate the average code word length for uh, two uh, single bits and seven uh, two bits symbol the answer is 1.76 bit per symbol the efficiency is entropy divided by l log 2 4 so if you solve this problem then you will can, um, end up with the efficiency is 0.8948 and then you can use the same formula for the uh, variance and then you can see that the variance of that is this one so you just use two because we know that two uh, symbols have us uh, one bit but the seven symbol have a two bits so that is why we can calculate the variance which is 0.171424 so that's all uh, thank you for watching the video so if you uh, have any question you can um, ask the question you can write in the comment box we will try your best to solve or uh, to answer your question thank you for watching the video